All right, grasshoppers. Look at the excitement on her face. She said, wow, I get to be on Tom Laidlaw again today. What a thrill that is. All right, we'll get right at it. Not waste any time. Right to the uh, business at hand. Everybody, this is the first lady of Kentucky, the governor of Kentucky. Wildcats. The uh, the uh, wildcat herself. She, yeah, you are the wildcat. You're actually a wildcat. The one and only, the 17th most popular player to ever play Survivor, Elaine Stott. How you doing? I'm tired as I'll get out. A lot going on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you don't have don't go into details if you don't want to, but everything got to, the other day you had to take somebody up for some help. How'd that go? Yeah, it, it went. It took three hours to finally get on the road, but <clears throat> I got them there. And then I drove straight there and drove straight back. And then so I, they fought it for three hours? Him hauled. I call it him hauled. Him and hauled? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully, uh, well, see, the thing about going to rehab is like, you can check in and then you can just turn around and check yourself yeah, out. I know. Like, and so it's like <clears throat> the people that go, like uh, a lot of times they just turn around and leave. And then yeah. I think it's like mandatory. Like if you, once you check in that you can't leave until the doctor says yeah. you can't. I had a buddy of mine up in Canada, and I don't know if it's like this all over Canada, but when he went for rehab, uh, it was they had him locked in. Like they had alarms on the doors the whole bit. It's funny he, uh, but he laughs about it now. So uh, it, you know he's gone through it all and helped himself. But uh, when he first got there, the alarms were going off all day because he kept trying to go through the door, and the alarms would go off and everything like that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. They should uh, like you. You should make them sign paper. Yeah. And yeah. once you walk through these doors, you are no longer responsible for yourself. We're responsible for you. Yeah. That way they stay the time they need to get the help they need. You yeah, know? I know. Yeah. And this is like the fifth or sixth time that this person's went, you know, and it's yeah. like, it's been over a span of like 12 years. It's like, yeah. come on. Yeah. hopefully, you know, six times a charm. You yeah. Know? So we'll see. Um, yeah. And they find it pretty good going up there. Didn't want to go. No, it's it, it's it's just him hauling, or or we should just do this tomorrow, or oh, but, it, it's like no, we're gonna do it today. And <clears throat> I was supposed to meet people up in Winchester, which is about an hour and a half north right. at, at one thirty, but because there was so much him hauling, uh, we we couldn't make one thirty. I think the purpose was is like, oh, I'm gonna him haul around, and then we're gonna miss our appointment. But I, I ended up driving all the way to the facility. I was like, I don't care. Like right. three hours, I'll three hours. Like, let's just, we're going today regardless. And uh, so I, I drove all the way out there and then I just, I turned about in 10 minutes and drove all the way back. Right. I got, I, I left after I got off with you and then I got home at seven. Oh. And, uh, now, as far as you know, they're, they're still there as far yeah. as you know? As far as I know. Uh, would they call you that? Would they call you and let you know if she left? No, not me, but uh, uh her. I, I, yeah. you know, yeah. all right. At, and I party rocked to like two in the morning, and uh, and then I got up at four because I had to drive Boo to work because she hit a deer with her car. Oh. So I, I got up at four, drove Boo to work, came back home, I took a nap, and then I drove uh. No, that was yesterday. Dang, see how my days are mixed up? Mm -hmm. Yesterday is when I drove Boo to work. The day before, I woke up the next morning, and me and Boo drove to Ohio. We was gone for 12 hours. It was horrible. I drove straight up there, stayed about an hour, and drove straight back. And then yesterday morning, I, dro I drove Boo to work, got up at 5, and then I went to the dealer. That's when you I talked to you. Right. My, my AC went out in my truck, so I, I took it to the shop, and... Uh, and 650 bucks and it's like come on yeah. give me a break <laughs> yeah i'm tired well the good news is uh i have not won uh, mega millions yet nobody has so that means it goes up in value um let me see what we're gonna have motorhomes getting bigger and bigger all the time that's really so that's the positive way to look at it let me see let me let's see the numbers here uh so mega millions drawing tonight Two hundred sixty-five point six million dollars in cash. Wow! I think the motorhome we're gonna buy with that. Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's too much money. Yeah, I I need that money to. I'm broke. 
I I bought my uh, that's why I went to Ohio. I I uh, took the paperwork up and met my uncle and uh, I bought his half of the farm out. Oh. And uh, and so after I went to the dealership y yesterday, I took those papers to the courthouse. Oh. And I had to go to Lowe's and I, I had all kinds of stuff. I'm so sick of doing stuff. I'm I'm not. I'm gonna nap from now until tomorrow. I think after I get off. And then on Monday we're getting up and we're getting going. It's a yeah, I have freaking CrossFit Monday. I was informed of that and I was like, "What?" Oh, oh, oh! Really? Hold on here. Back up. Tanya says you're starting CrossFit. Yeah, she told me I had to go Monday. So. That's, Good. Ah. So okay, I like this. So let's let's do the whole healthy lifestyle thing, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna do that. We're we're on top of that. <laughs> It's such a, you know, why? why? I, you know what I think? I, I think you're doing it just to get me, just to get under my skin, just to crank my chain. Dude, look at these eyes. Look how tired I am, Tom. I know, but okay, so we're going to change things. So you're going to get get up at the proper time. No, you know what it is? It's like, okay, like when I when I drove my boo to work the other day, I stayed up till two and then I turned around and got up at four. Right. Uh <clears throat> And then I came home, I went to sleep, and I went to sleep at like 5.30, and then I got up at 8. So it's like, okay, I slept five hours, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. But we're, we're going to, I think Monday is like we say, you know, okay, so let's back up. So am I correct in saying you're doing this just to get me going, right? This is your whole focus in life. You're yeah. Intentionally yeah. Not doing the healthy lifestyle just to get me going, correct? But it is. That's what it is. It's because I, I – I love to drive you nuts. So I see a pattern here, right? Because on Survivor, it was the same way. I had to save your bacon, and then you bailed on me. Now you're doing this to me. I see this now. I see what's going on. No, it's called I burn I burn the candle at both ends is what I – and then I just go and go and go and go until uh, I don't no more. <laughs> well, I mean – it's like, okay, like last night, I was tired yesterday. And then as soon as, I like, I think uh, by the time everything got said and done, it was like 11 o'clock. And so, like, uh, Boo went to bed, and uh, I was tired, but I my mind keeps going. I can't go to sleep. Right. So, like, at, at 2 in the morning, it's fine when I, when I took a nap. So, you know. <sighs> I just shut it off. I, I, I literally, I, and like, I'll stay up for. You know what? We should get you meditating. That's what we should do. I mean, meditate. meditate. Get control of your mind. Yeah. There's so many more. See, you automatically say no to all the healthy suggestions I come up with. Because that's weird. <sighs> Asian. You know, I used to think it was weird too. I used to think it was weird. Seriously, I used to think it was weird to do it. And I finally did it. And I, I, it was, it's excellent. So you want, you want me to set and what what do you focus on when you meditate? Well, is that's the idea. You're not supposed to focus on anything. You, you let all the thoughts. This should be easy. This should be easy for you. You let all the thoughts go in one ear and out the other, right? Like yeah, you don't yeah. pay attention to anything. Uh, I well, a long time ago, I I, had, I went to the doctor and uh, uh, what they told me was is like uh, kind of like my my brain never shuts off. So they they actually gave me sleeping pills because no. I God no. <laughs> I was having uh, severe migraines and stuff. Like I would have like three or four migraines. I would have like seven headaches in a day. And and they told me they were migraines. It got to the point where my my lip would go numb. And uh, I thought I was having a freaking stroke. And uh, they were like, no, it's migraines. So they ran all these tests on me. And they told me I was having migraines. And uh, they said part of the reason why I'm having so many headaches and stuff is because like I, I'm not getting enough rest. I'm not doing this, this, and this. And they told me, <laughs> yeah. So, but they told me that that my brain doesn't shut off like at night. You know what I mean? So they were like, "What you are to do is take." I what I don't know if it was sleeping pills or mu I think it might have been muscle relaxer. Hell, I don't know what it was. But I took them uh, for like two or three days, and then I was like, I don't want to take medicine. No, I'll take those. So I quit taking them. But like it really like I can't go to sleep like. Tom, you don't remember on the island like I never slept. No, oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember you're up all the time. Yeah, complaining all the time. Yeah. So, so I stay up and uh, I I sleep, you know, three four hours, 
but when I do sleep, oh, I sleep good. You know what I mean? Uh, so what it was is I think they told me I don't rest. I, I sleep, but I don't rest. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. You're not getting, you're not getting proper sleep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they, that's well, why they give me sleeping pills or, or whatever. No and, you know, I'm stubborn. So like, I think I took them for a couple of days and then I just. Yeah. Don't. No, you want sleeping pills. Well, are all natural. I get up in the morning, do a ginger shot with turmeric in it, cucumber, a vitamin, gets your amino acids going, uh, get some egg whites and vegetables, get a smoothie with avocado, uh, banana. Here and cooked for me, I'd probably eat it, but yeah. I, because I don't know what none of that stuff is, you, you think I'm going to cook it myself? Well, I, if I could cook it, listen, I got divorced in my like 22 years ago. My boys were like four and six years old, so they'd be with me. And um, I would, uh, I would, I, the only thing they knew how to cook were uh, tuna noodle and hamburger helper. So one night we'd have tuna noodle and I would have hamburger helper. When we, we first started trying to have Thanksgiving, I would get the frozen uh, uh, turkey and put it right in the oven. And then once it got cooked, I, I'd get the turkey out of the oven and I'd reach inside and have a little bag of giblets and all that. And I'm like, who the heck is putting garbage in my turkey? The turkey came out already, but I couldn't hear what the heck is inside my turkey. There's like garbage in there. Yeah. Well, I, I can cook, but the the stuff I know how to cook is not good for you. I can fry some chicken, fry some pork chops. I can do that stuff, but. No frying. See, we're, no. Fried stuff is good. But you get an air fryer and it tastes exactly the same. I'm telling you. For lunch, I'm going to have a chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And uh, sweet potato fried in my uh, air fryer. Like, see, that's another thing. Like, I don't really eat very often. But when I eat, boy, I eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> God, you know, seriously, you're doing this just to get me going. I, I, I swear to God. It's like it, it's Friday. We're supposed to be having fun. You know, happy hour is coming along here. And you're trying to just you're jerking my chain. We, If no. you get on a healthy lifestyle, like we're going to, we've been talking about this for what, months now, right? I'm healthy. I'm so healthy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, you have a cigarette as soon as you get off the show too. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the healthiest person in the world. I don't know how the world I don't survive. I have no idea. Well, you didn't do anything. You just sat around and rocked there the whole time. That's why. No, 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 but I'm just talking about going out there. Like I I quit everything cold turkey and just No, oh, oh, yeah, you did. See, that's the thing. You showing yourself that you can do that. You have the discipline to do it. You did it out there. No Mountain Dew, no cigarettes. Yeah. The sun is getting to me. I'm gonna have to move. You're out in Tom Laidlaw porch. <laughs> yeah, I gotta uh, today after I get done napping. I gotta build something on my fence. My dog is freaking Houdini. Oh, still doing it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so oh, gonna... yeah. Actually, Lorraine uh, one of our, was Lorraine one of our potential. Uh, I can't remember. She wants to know how your leg is. How's the wound on your leg? Oh, is it, oh, is it oh, totally infected? Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll show it to you. Hold on. It's uh. Oh God, it's not gonna be gross, is it? Come on. No, no, no. Look, look, look. People it, of course, it's infected. Well, it's not. As, it's not as red as it was uh, the other day. It's well, I, it had it had glue on it. Right. And you know, because like when you get a scab, I pick it off. Yeah, good. It, it, it's like OCD. So I just pick the pick the glue off of it until it finally came off. Yeah. That's good to walk around with an open wound like that. That's a good idea. Well, like, it's, no chance of infection whatsoever. No, I I probably should put some, but it'll be okay. Yeah. I, I added the video last night, so I'm gonna post the today of them cutting on my leg on the porch. Oh, nice. Okay. See, I think when this heals up, I think I'm gonna do it again because I didn't get everything. I can still see a knot. So good. It's always good to do it twice and try to keep it open for a while too, so like it possibly like maybe rub through the woods a little bit, try to get some dirt in it. Yeah, Listen, that's how you just throw dirt in it. That'll heal it. Rub, rub some dirt in it. Yeah. It's, a farm it's, it's a, sometimes it oozes a little. But uh, that's a good sign. It's good. That's an excellent sign. No, and it's healing from the inside out. But yeah, yeah a little. Doctor, okay. Dr. Stott. Listen, do you know how many cuts, bruises, bangs, and bumps? Yeah, I know. Same, thing. Same here. Growing up on the farm, that's part of life, yeah. yeah. Well, th that was self-inflicted. I mean, that was a uh, dude. I was cutting something the other day with a chainsaw. I was cutting yeah. a pump up, and uh, 
I, I couldn't go all the way through because it was so far in the ground like this. So I, I split and went down the middle. And when I cut halfway and then I split this way, the piece that I cut shot out. Hmm. And it hit me straight in the shin, dude. And an instant pump knot of like a softball size pumped up on my leg. And it was like this big. And Hunter was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that hurt. You know, and then I just kept on. He, yeah. And I told Hunter, and he's like, I can't believe that you're still. And I was like, I know if that had happened to you, I'd be taking you to the hospital, you big wuss. You know, I saw the other day, I was on YouTube and I saw this uh, survivor sequester thing. What is this? You know what that is? It's like a mini survivor game. That they, they, play. they all get on. Some yeah, I game. guess the sequester game that they played the other day, like there was all kinds of drama going on. And Johnny Fairplay blocked our girl Chelsea and was so mad. And oh, I, yeah. I didn't even watch it then. It's like six hours long or something. Oh, I was like, I, Is it? It? yeah, I saw the, the thing on YouTube and I didn't watch it. I to put it on at first. I like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, it's I, I've never watched it either, but I was talking to Chelsea about it, and uh, Chelsea was like, Yeah, Johnny. Johnny blocked me. He was being oh. mean and all kinds of Chewy, I can't pick you up. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That's cute. She got a haircut and now she looks like a new dog. It's like, whose dog is that? <laughs> she um, was I still haven't got a haircut. Look at this. It's uh, so the name from when your boo tried to cut it? Yeah, I, I, I recorded that but because I didn't know how to work my iPhone. I right. completed the video. It was like yeah, I wish you guys could have seen it because uh, it was a hot mess. Yeah. So. Um, actually, Krishma was on that show yesterday, too. She's on there with just nine fingers. <laughs> oh, Krishma made it to the end in that. Oh, did she? Yeah, she made final three. Krishma hmm. does good on all these. Uh, like, I'm on an online thing with Krishma. Uh, me and Krishma's in the same tribe. We in an alliance, kind of. Well, not an alliance, but like we're on the same tribe and stuff. See, you know, you know what I always like. It's good to point out that we have some really intelligent uh, listeners here. What can't you do, Tom? You're a hockey player, agent, chef, now a doctor. See, that's pretty much. <laughs> Barry, thanks, Barry. into that. Thanks, Barry. And he's yeah. got. He has a big enough head already. Barry is a very intelligent man. Very thoughtful. Don't, <laughs> Tom. Yeah. You're a doctor, Dr. Tom. Yeah, I can do it all. A lawyer, too. Laid Lon Stott. A law firm. Yeah. So, what, 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 what's going on down there with the virus? Anything, uh, anybody forgot all about it or what? I, I don't even know, bro. I've been so busy, like, doing my own thing. Like, I don't even know. Yeah. I guess everybody's out and about now. Like, all this stuff. Ohio's open. Like, because when we went to Ohio the other day, uh, Boo wanted to go to all these stores and, uh, you know, of course, I, I hate shopping, so I didn't want to go. But uh, Kentucky's the stores and stuff aren't aren't completely open yet. I think they yeah. open today, though. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine down in South Carolina. He was down there for a couple weeks on a vacation. He said, you never know. You never even know. People would walk around with no, no mask on, nothing. Now, some places I went, there were people with masks, but a majority of the people didn't have one. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, here in New York, you can't get into a store. This tri-state area, you can't get into a store if you don't have a mask on. <clears throat> so, really? Yeah, I thought that was supposed to be mandatory. Like, I, I did too. I thought that was, uh, I guess, a state by state. I guess, but and there's a lot of stuff going on where the, they have these regulations, but people just aren't paying attention. And and the police, they're not laws really, so the police really can't do much about it. But yeah. well, uh, that's like I'm going to CrossFit on Monday. Like I, I, I talked to the owner and I was like. Oh, you yeah. have to wear a mask and stuff because I can't breathe as it is. Yeah, it's like no, nah, we're just gonna tell people that uh, you know, since it's up to the owners, like it's like you know, it's your body, it's your risk. Like if you want to wear one, wear one. But if you don't, you don't have to. And so, are the, are the gyms just opening up on Monday? I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why you haven't been working out because the gyms haven't opened, right? True, Tom. See, you just came up with a great excuse for why I couldn't been working out. No, no I, have, I haven't wanted to work out. I've been so tired. I've been so busy. And uh, you now, oh, come on, listen. You weren't that busy before. Yeah. You were in a funk before, and you were just sitting around. You're sleeping in for, but for the for two weeks now, it's been nonstop. BS. 
I'm still in a funk. It's like, yo, I'm yeah. like, you know. Okay. So one step at a time. One, one step at a time. They're going to have a first task. Like I, I've done a podcast with some Navy SEALs and they all talk about like when they're in a battle and things like that and everything like that. They don't look at the big picture that they have to go. They look at the target ahead of them. So there's a guy in front of the enemy in front of them. They got to kill. So your enemy is the Mountain Dew. You got to kill the Mountain Dew. That's your next. But that's my coffee. What am I going to do without my coffee? Talk? Amino energy. Get amino acids with caffeine in it. Oh, my God. My coffee. Okay, so and then so that's gonna be your first task. We're gonna kill the Mountain Dew. I haven't been drinking it. I've been drinking the uh, Gatorade. Yeah, I know. But you just shake your salt there too, and just pour that down your throat there with the Gatorade. There's so much sodium in that thing. Yeah, but Gatorade's better for you than soda. Yeah, true, very true. But I mean, you're, you're the hypocrite. You say little step at a time. It's like that's an improvement. Mountain Dew to Gatorade is an improvement. But, but what do you have in your hand? Right there. Well, today's a different story, Tom. <laughs> what Listen, are we trying to work on our? True, but I hate you being right. So it's like I got. Sure, that's the story of my life. The story of my life, actually. When are we going to start doing our Christmas carols? Like, yeah, we, that's like we don't want to wait too long, right? Get to the I, end. I start, don't, start working on our Christmas carol. I, I, by Christmas, you mean I'm probably not even going to be your friend. What? <laughs> I said by Christmas, I'm probably not even going to be your friend. Why would you say that? That is an awful thing. You've got no empathy whatsoever. <laughs> You're a sociopath. You got no empathy. Oh. You need to have empathy. I can I can teach you. Doctor yeah. Laidlaw will teach you. Listen, Sorry. you drive me nuts. It's important to care about other people's feelings and be there for them. And and I do. It's just I don't care about yours. <laughs> You know, I don't even have feelings. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is true. You don't. Uh, you're, bossy. you're bossy. I'm bossy. You're bossy. Well, I just have great. I just have great ideas. It's not, I'm not bossy. What to do? Well, I I have great ideas. That's why I just, just it's not bossy. You just have better ideas. Like what 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 do you get out of me being a healthy person? You get to be my friend longer. No, it's all about me. It makes me look better that I've helped you get healthy. Yeah. Gonna live longer and so we'll be best friends. No, no, it's all about me. It just makes me look better because I've I've helped you. So everybody can say, well, Tom's I, such a great person. Tom, um, isn't that isn't that funny? You tell what? your buddies that your best friends is with a lesbian. <laughs> I tell everybody that I am friends with you and I talk it's about like, who you oh are. my god, Elaine's my favorite. Love Elaine. Yeah. God. No, come on. Yeah, well, you know it's true, Tom. Oh my. I talked to uh, somebody the other day. Uh, I did a cameo for a lady the other day, and uh, her daughter had gotten it for her. And her, the lady, she worked with Tommy's dad, and she actually got to talk to Tommy on the phone. And the first thing she told Tommy was, "Is that Elaine's my favorite?" Wow. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was funny. So, Tommy, Tommy's wound a little tight there. We were out in L.A. for. Uh, for a uh, finale, he was like, what? Yeah, he, he had a little bit too much coffee there, didn't he? Tommy. Yeah. Uh, he He's he's like a grown child. Yes, yes. He's like a grown child. He's like, a, he's like, acts like a 15 year old. Yeah. That's you pretty yeah. good guy, though. I, I'm, I'm just, no, good. I love I just, uh, on Twitter, uh, I was talking about how I had a newfound respect for truck drivers because I just drove back and forth, you know, for right. two days and I was exhausted. Right. Like, yo, I got mad respect for the people that do this every oh, absolutely. Day. And thank yeah. you for everything you do. Well then I was like, yo, I drove seven hours, da, da, da. and Tommy's like, well drive 10 more and come see me. And I was like, no way. And I was like, I was like, no way. And I was like, well, I drive to see Dean. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty funny. But uh, I like to bust Tommy's chops. Yeah. yeah. But Tommy yeah. He's a good guy. I told you my truck driving story, right? When I got my, went to truck yeah. driving school. Yeah. yeah. You're, a, you're like my grandpa. You tell the same stories over and over and over. Well, they're such good stories. That's why people want to hear them again. It's like I heard some stories about my grandpa, like I, I bet you a million times. Yeah, totally. Yeah, my, my sons give me a hard time. I, they always say I've got brain damage because I, I tell the same story all the time. And uh, dad, that uh, we heard that. That might be true because you've been. Uh, hit the head quite a few times <laughs> you know when they did the uh they did the psych test for uh 
survivor. They had me come back to New York here and do an extra test with a doctor around here. And after he got done the test, he calls me up and he says, uh, wow, Tom, you're a really intelligent man. <laughs> what? what kind of test did you give me? What, what kind of test you do? Uh, it, hey, was all, it was all the same kind of stuff we did out in LA. For, for did casting. they tell you what your IQ was? It was off the charts, they said. Oh, you're such a liar. My my, I was off the charts on uh, what is it like uh, caring for others, whatever. Um, God. That's yeah. that's where I was off the charts at. Oh, yeah. But I was I tried to get them to tell me what my intelligence score was. Yeah. But I think I scored negatively. Did you want to embarrass you? Yeah. Yeah. We don't know if we want to tell you. <laughs> And I was like, yo, this must not be good. Like, come on, tell me what it is. <laughs> but I never did find out. I know I'm not smart. So it's like, well, you're, I don't it's, it's, so well, it's smart in different ways, right? I mean, look at that Mountain Dew. Now, you have to drink the Mountain Dew cold, or is it all right warm? No, nah, it's going to be cold. Listen, so this is my new redneck thing that I'm going to do today. What? What, is, what is that? What's that? Is, yeah. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to split it, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to take the one in, the one split side, and put it down on that this fence, the fence over there. Oh. I'm going to put it the, the split part on the top. Right. I'm going to draw through it and take string and pull it down yeah. and tie it to the fence. So when that dog jumps on it, like, it'll slide off. Oh, good thinking. Nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that today. Uh I, if I split I was gonna do this in this this corner here. And uh because it's just in the corners where he jumps out. So I, I got a couple of these and I got a few in the shed. And uh that's, that's nice deck the Tom Laidlaw deck. Look at the furniture and everything. That's nice out there. Yeah. Tom Laidlaw you, deck. You gonna screen it in? Part of the reason why I gotta fix the fence. You see all these pillows? Yeah. My dog drags them off the porch and chews them up, and nice. I'm getting ready to kill me. So uh, if I don't stop yeah. him from getting out, she's probably going to shoot my dog. Ooh, <laughs> she won't yeah. shoot him, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I got to figure out a way to – you ever heard of a coyote roller? No. Nope. Well, what it is is, is you, you like where your fence post is in the corner, you take a two-by-four and put it. And then at the next fence post, you put a two by four and then you run a roller, like a roller like this from one fence post to the other. Huh. When the dog goes to jump on the fence, he'll hit that roller and just slide. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's a good idea. Well, I, don't, I, I don't have a roller. I have some PVC pipe. Yeah, PVC pipe will do, yeah. I'm going to split it. Instead what, of you, what are you using? You got a sawzall or are you splitting it? I'm a, yeah, I'm going to sawzall it. I'm going to split it and, uh, you know, so it'd be like a half circle. Yeah. And top of my fence and then screw some holes in it and tie it, tie it to the fence Good. and it'll make it slick. It won't roll like the rollers, yeah. but it's slick enough where he just slides yeah. off. Yeah. He won't be able to get over that. Yeah. Good. Good thinking. That's, that's a great idea. Man, you're smart. You get a high IQ. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to do that today. Uh, yeah, I can tell you're all inspired too. Like I can tell by looking at your face, you're just like, let's get after it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm dreading doing this. <laughs> No, or my oh i got all kinds of stuff to do tom it's like and i don't want to do any of it i i have to do the dog thing because my woman's gonna kill me okay put it off Here's one, one one step at a time you do write yourself a list of all the things you have to do yeah put the things at the top of the list that you least like doing and work your way down one step at a time okay yeah Sounds like it sounds like a plan. That's not how it happens, though. So, but it, it, it can happen that way. I make a plan, and it's like, all right, we're gonna start halfway through the list, and then go up this way, and then go down that way. And then, yeah. but I, listen, I just do whatever I feel like doing in the moment, and I'll have four or five things going, and, I, and none of it'll be done, and then I'll just go work on this for a while if I get tired of that. How's that? How's that working out for you? I mean, I mean, eventually stuff gets done. You know what I mean? Like it's not like. Never. I mean, if I. If my woman says I have to do something, then it gets done. All right. So basically, we need to talk to her and just say, listen, enough's enough. Put your foot down. Enough fooling around. Oh, she was pissed because uh, she has all these little pillows here. I'll show you. She has all these little pillows that she puts on the thing. And uh -huh. That's nice. And the dog gets those? Yeah, look how dirty it is. It, uh -huh. it, 
the dog took it down the road. If you could look down that way, there's actually stuff laying in the road down there. He comes up here and he gets it off the porch and he just takes it down there. And so uh, she. He's, do they, he's doing that just because it's her. her the other day and bought like a thing, uh, um, like a, what is it, like a 12 pack of uh, Gatorade? They yeah. come at pack or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, he took the Gatorade down there and chewed like a couple bottles up. So I, I, I picked them up out of the yard. I snuck her around back and I rinsed them off with the water hose. And then I pulled them off the, the plastic thing and I set them on the back porch and I walked in the front door. And then when she went in the laundry room, I hurried up and took them out of the, off the back porch and put them in the refrigerator. Cause she would think that the boys took, took a couple instead of the dog chewing a couple up. <laughs> Cause she was going to be so mad. Cause she had literally just took them out of her car and set them on the porch. And then it was going to be Elaine. You never did fix the fence. That dog. Da, 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 da. So I, I avoided the situation. Well, the dog's jealous. The dog's going after her stuff. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, it's, yeah. it's all her stuff, right? The pillows got her scent on it. The the Gatorade has got her scent on it. The, the dog, his name's Jack. He's the he's the smartest dog I got by far. Yeah. And uh, like ever since I've had him, he'll figure out a way out. I'll fix it. He'll figure out another way. And so it's like a game we play. So right now, he just walks up. But the funny <laughs> thing, he puts himself back up though. Like he'll jump out and run around for an hour, right. and then he jumps back in. He's like, all right. And it's like, so if I don't fix it, she's going to kill me. And uh, I was going to buy that plastic drain, you know, the black plastic drain. Yeah. I was going to buy it and split it. But uh, I didn't know with those grooves and stuff in it, if he would be able to. Yeah. No, the PVC pipe's a good idea. I like that. It's but good. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Yeah. Well, he, he can't get over that. He, there's no way he can get traction there to get over well, he what it is is he gets in the corner, and he right. puts it all on each side, and then he he gets against that post and he puts his body against that post and he just right over. Pretty smart, I like that. Yeah, he's what a, pretty motivated dog. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's funny he puts himself back up, you know, because I I was I was like I'll let him out and, or leave him out for a while and then I'll go down and put him back up, and yeah. I get him out and I was like, where's Jack at? And I got to look and he was already put up and I was like, oh. So I would let him run around and be free if he would quit chewing her stuff, you know. But if, if the dog is jealous, the dog is jealous. I don't think he's jealous. I think he just likes to chew stuff. He's a pup. It's, all, it's all boo stuff, though. It's tiny stuff all the time, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not buying no couch cushions or. Oh, come on, dude! I hate shopping. I hate buying anything. Oh god. I, you, you, I'm you, you, sure not I'm damn sure not going to go buy any decorative stuff. That's just, you're just going to steal it at Walmart. That's what you're going to steal some pillows yeah. at Walmart. That's, that's what this is, Tom. This is pillows. I got pillows shoved in my shirt. You know what? Yeah, seriously, you're doing that just to get me going on a Friday morning. Too. Um, who cut the dog's hair? <laughs> uh, she looks cute, Tom. She does. She's very cute. She is that. Yeah. What's the dog's name? What's that dog? What's what is it? Chewy. Chewy, that's right. Chewy. Like Chewy. Chewy. Hey, Chewy, what are you doing? Chewy. Like, like all other women in your life, she's ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, every time we take her, like, because when, when she grows out, she's part Shih Tzu. And when she grows out, her hair get, and part poodles, so she gets real fuzzy. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gets all these mats and stuff if you don't brush her. And where we had been in quarantine, she had been forever without a haircut. Every single time Boo takes her to get her haircut, Boo cries. Uh -huh. Every She cries. And I'm like, I think she looks better. And, and I know she feels better with the mm -hmm. haircut. But Tanya hates it. It says part, hates shih tzu, part Shih Tzu and part Poodle? Yeah. Now, do we know which one was the father? Like, was the Shih Tzu the father? Or like. Uh, I, I think the Shih Tzu's the father. I think so the Shih Tzu's a tiny little dog, right? Yeah, well they're 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 a medium sized dog. Chihuahuas are smaller than Shih Tzu's. Oh. So her her sister. I'm, I'm just thinking. Of the, I'm thinking of the breeding process there. The <laughs> what? what? I even think about get out of here with that. It's a natural thing. I mean, 
<laughs> and listen, there's some old rednecks up in the holler had a couple dogs. And did you know that dogs uh, can have, like a pup can have uh, different fathers? Did you know that? Not out of the same litter. Yeah, they can. Yes, they can. Google it. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, we... in, a litter, gonna... in a litter, pups can have different dads. That's what I was told. So, so you've so, got one pup going around, one dog going around having sex with multiple dogs. Well, it's called when a dog's in heat and there's like neighborhood dogs. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like, yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, so Chewy looks like she, she's more poodle is what right. she looks like. But her sister looks way more shih tzu. Like she's shorter leg, longer body, wider. Right. Uh, like her face, like she looks more shih tzu. And uh, the reason being is apparently like you can have two daddies. Wow. So she, that, Google it. Google it, Tom. I want you to dogs just run around, <laughs> around in heat. Like, what is going on? Is this just a Kentucky thing? See? Yeah. See? Is it is this just a Kentucky thing? Is it a dog drinking? <laughs> That's listen, th listen. <laughs> in the country, dogs run everywhere. Like you, right. li literally, because people get dogs and then they just take them and set them out. So there's stray dogs all over the place, right. and uh, they're in the wilds. So they they fare a lot better than the ones in the city. And then you got animal control that picks them up. We're here. You know what I mean? Not so much. I mean, we have animal control, but there's so much land to cover. It's like they don't pick them all up. Right. So if you have a dog like me, for example, I live on a farm and I got outside dogs. Well, typically right. my outside dogs aren't fenced in. This is the first time I've ever fenced my dogs in. And uh, I've had female dogs before. And when they've went into heat, I've had at least three or four dogs show up at my house and like just hang out. But like I had a, I had a girl pit bull, right? Yeah. She or, uh, she was pit bull and boxer and she was mean so when the fella showed up at her house she whooped their asses like, <laughs> seriously, she did and see i had male dogs too but right. she was the dominant like right. i didn't have an alpha male she was the alpha so instead of like uh, uh her being defended by the boy dogs like she defended herself it was the funniest thing That's but funny. like she basically would decide on you know who she was doing what with and but Typically, like I think that that uh, if if it had my dog hadn't been so aggressive, that I think that whatever dogs were here, I think every one of them would have got her. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I think that's what happens. I didn't know dogs were that way. I mean, it's kind of a, dude. Yeah, listen, male dogs just like in life, they're dogs. So it's like <laughs> they literally come from miles away. They smell that from miles away and come up here and just hang out. And it, it, that's how it is. So if you got outside dogs around here and you don't watch, you'll have strays come up. And uh, that's how I got my litter is uh, uh, the, this girl, she breeds uh, boxers and uh, she she breeds her dogs and stuff. Well, a border collie jumped her fence because her boxer was in heat and he got her. He and she fence, yeah. litter because she only sells boxers. Well, now she's got a mixed litter. So I took the whole litter. Huh. So uh, I worked at a I worked at a horse breeding farm, standard breeding, you know, ones that pull the I did. I, I'm serious. It was this is a true story. And it was one of the one that pulled, pulled the carts, you know, the, the, the standard breads, right? So uh, same thing, the mares would all get in heat and they had this little pony. And to find out if the mare was in heat or not, they'd take the pony around the outside of the fence and then the mares would act, you know, it was a male pony, so they would act accordingly yeah. to whether they heat or not. That poor little pony all summer long, he was <laughs> getting wound up. <laughs> No, I'm not no action. Oh God, it was funny. Poor, I, I actually felt bad for the pony, you know, because like, all summer long they wouldn't let him do anything because he had to be as uh, into it as possible. So, <laughs> you, I tell you what, yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, like animals, like they have animal instinct, basic animal. Yeah, instinct, totally. you know? So, like, uh, they revert back to that, and if yeah. none of them here and it was just animals here like they would it's like caveman days they take what they want you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah no i agree i agree google it tom i swear google it well, we've got a number of people here hold on we have one of our actually one of our very intelligent uh listeners here when female isn't used to she will accept different suitors that's see how that was well put like that was beautiful See, and you can't even, you're such a third grader. Like, you can't even spit out the story. Your face turns completely blush. <laughs> like, like, well, yeah. there's four 
a pony. I mean, I, I, if I was just, if they weren't on air, I'd tell it in a different way. Yeah, but, I know. I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's poor pony though. Don, I'm thinking. Yeah, like, but seriously, like, uh, and so that's what happens, and I, th that's why there that a litter can have different fathers. Uh, and uh, it's weird how they're, they're similar to us, like as far as like you know they, yeah, sex and this that and the other. They're similar to us, but they're so different. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I guess and they, I guess it makes sense. There's multiple <laughs> ages. women could have different fathers like that. Would be. <laughs> Just be running. <laughs> Let's run around. It's time to go. Time That's to get pregnant. Show. That's a whole other Let's show. Let's go to Friday night. It's Friday night. Let's go get pregnant. It's Friday night. Woo. They've got a place we used to call it the starlight down here. Boy, every every person <laughs> the son would go to the starlight. And there's a place called the chicken scratch. Now you didn't want to go to the chicken scratch. That thing was dangerous. Like people get murdered down there. Like <laughs> you talking back holler, ride you four wheeler to get to the bar. Right. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't even think those places are open anymore. That's been 20 years ago. Chicken scratch. The chicken scratch. That's what the uh, call. That's funny. Yeah, I'd been I'd been there one time, and I was like, "Yo, I'm never coming back here again." These people are nuts. Yeah, they were crazy. That's I funny. had a good time, but it was like, "Yo, I ain't coming back in this country no more." Well, Cynthia, you know, growing up on the farm, you know, you go into town, and uh, I, I think they only had one bar. It's called the Sword and Shield. Is it Shield and Sword or Sword and Shield? Camera. And uh, it was the one place to go. They had multiple sources of entertainment in one location. Um, <laughs> it was. Yeah. Well, see, the thing about rednecks is, is rednecks, like real rednecks, like they don't give a flying whatever. They got their own set of rules. Well, you get a bunch of them in the holler way back in the middle of nowhere and you give them alcohol. There's bad things going to happen. Bad things, yeah. There's so much land for things to take place. Sure. There's people that go you know, it's yeah. handled their own. It's like the wild, wild west out here. Uh, so it's uh, that's farm country. That's the way we were too. We'd uh, if anybody was ever getting married, they'd always have a stag, and they wouldn't go to like a party. They'd go to somebody's barn, and they just like to get all the tractors out of the barn and like that. And they'd set all the tables up, and just all the guys would sit around and drink beer and yeah, the stag. That was the fun. Yeah, you know, but guys would just hammer too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, getting hammered. I I, I don't get hammered. Like I used to, I, I drink every now and again, but not yeah. when I was in college. Boy, them were the days. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably I'm alcohol poisoned a few times in my time. You uh, know? College, yeah, but the more I can't, I got enough on my plate with what I do now. I, 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 I couldn't handle drinking all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, you're so healthy now, too. So, no, that's what I'm saying. I got too much on my plate, I can't afford to mess myself up any more than I already am. So what, what? It looks like I ain't slept in days. Well, yeah, you know, it's a healthy lifestyle, healthy lifestyle. So we get healthy lifestyle, we start sleeping better, uh, we exercising more. What time are you going to the gym on uh, Monday? When Boo gets off work, probably. Oh, the night, okay. Yeah, probably be like, it'd be four or five, probably. So that'd be good. Then you get, you'll get exercise, you get a little bit tired, so you come home, you'll eat healthy, you get to bed fairly early. Hydrate I, properly. Pardon I me? Hate, I hate you. No, you don't. I hate you. You need to say it closer to the microphone. I hate you. <laughs> healthy lifestyle. And say it with me. Say it with me. Just say it. Just start by this. Say it for me. Just say healthy lifestyle, Tom. No, nope, it doesn't sound, but feel right. Come on. Say, so, okay, start health. Say health. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you i'm a representation of most of the people out there in the country we so, want to do these things we don't have the willpower to do them you, and don't so, say, you can't say don't you have the willpower you showed yourself you had the willpower for what seven weeks i don't feel like it, I don't feel like it right now i don't feel like it right now like i'm tired i'm tired of sitting around yeah well apparently on monday i have to get yep. I, I hate that she makes me do this stuff. It no, you should be. You should grab her and hug her and say, "Thank you, honey, for making me do this. You, I know you love me and you're doing it because you want what's right for me." Yeah, it's. It, she won't go by herself, so that's why she makes me go. Yeah, she, she wants me to go with her. Good like choice. I know what I'm doing, which I do. I know a lot of what I'm doing. So it's, yeah, well, you do. Absolutely, you do. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, Monday, Tom. Monday, you're starting. Okay, so that means on Tuesday, we're going to be on the show at 10 o'clock and we can discuss um, how your workout went. Yeah, no, so I can complain about being sore because 
it's gonna suck. I hate going back for the first two weeks. It's horrible. Like it hurts so bad. I hate. I got, my, I got a little tiny violin up here on my shoulder. I'm playing the little violin. No, no, but that's what I was saying. On Tuesday, I'll complain about how sore I am, which yeah. I may not be sore on Tuesday. It'll probably be Wednesday that I'm really sore. We'll see. Suck it up. Oh, I suck it up because uh, the woman done set her foot down. I, I've mm -hmm. been listen. I have been tricking her and postponing and putting yeah. on. So I, I suppose. She's Mormon, and it's worked for so many weeks. And yeah, but like, who who loses in that? Like it's you're talking like that's some like great thing. It's not I mean, you're. No, that's just bought me time for me to continue to be lazy. Is all I was saying. <laughs> but those days are over. Yep, a whole healthy. See, healthy, healthy. Come on, Tom. Say it with me now. Healthy lifestyle, Tom. No, I'm. We'll see. Healthy lifestyle. Let's okay, let's start with just one letter. Say the letter H. Come on, say it for me. H. Yes, that's a start. <laughs> and then next, next show, we'll add another letter. We get that whole yep. healthy lifestyle thing going on. Yeah. It's like All right. Whole Have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, we'll be back. Elaine will be discussing her workout program, and we'll add another letter. There'll be an H. And what do you think's next? Maybe the E? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Have a great weekend. See ya.